And who have we got in this heat? Well, notably, only Arneson, who's just coming up number three there in the white quattro. I say notably because he is the reigning European champion in the four-wheel drive Audi Quattro, and he's going to be up against, there is his car, number four, the Porsche of Seppo Dittimaki, another Finnish driver, third equal in the European Championship, and completing the lineup, there is Rolf Nilsson in the four-wheel drive Porsche, that's Nilsson, the Swedish driver, and this could be a terrific race because we've got two four-wheel drive Porsches and the Quattro's. And the second of the two Quattro's is that of Taya Ski. So we've got four four-wheel drive cars in this race. And leading away now as they come out of Chesson's Drift for the first time, it's Seppo Nittimaki, whose car, the Porsche, produces 630 horsepower. Arneson is coming up, Nilsson is in second place, so it's Porsche leading, Porsche second. Arneson trying to drive round the outside of the previous British Grand Prix winner, the Swede, Rolf Nilsson, and Arneson's got the inside line, but it's still Nittimaki leading. Arneson, number three, 30 years old, Swedish driver, and they're bumping door handles as they go through the chicane at 100 miles an hour, down to Chesham's Drift, Nittimaki leads, Rolf Nilsson, the Swede, who is in fifth position in the European Championship this year, is in second position, and he's pulling away now from Arneson, the reigning European champion, and it looks to me as though he's closing up on Nittimaki. Rolf Nilsson is the man to watch. And that's the second of these two cars. Tay Ski in fourth position. He's keeping them in sight, but... Uh, he just hasn't got the ability to keep up with this terrific trio in front of him. Nittimaki leads this. And, and he's lost time there. He drifted out of it too much with his four-wheel drive car. And that's given Nilsson the chance to close up. And Nilsson's got a self-built four-wheel drive system. And Arneson is right with Nilsson. And Nilsson is with Nittimaki. And now we're going into the last lap as they come off the chalk onto the tarmac, round the left-hander at Devil's Elbow, up Carey Hill, Nitty Marky, Nilsson, Arneson, Arneson barges Nilsson, but Nilsson's got the inside, and Arneson cuts him, now, will he be penalised? Arneson there gives Nilsson a hefty bash as he goes through and up to second position, the reigning European champion means to finish first, but in order to do that, he will have to take Nitty Marky, the four-wheel drive Porsche, 630 horsepower, and the chicken flag is ready. Nitty Marky won't see it, he's too busy staving off Arneson. Arneson is pulling away from Nilsson. Tay Skeen is still in fourth position, and it is Nitty Marky's race, but how does Nitty Marky's time compare with that of the fastest previous time, 2 minutes 43, and the answer is 2 minutes 46 seconds.